Hello everybody, my name is Chocolate Chipringle and this is a how-to video because of course you should be taking advice from me, the person who knows everything about all of the things. Yeah, to totally legit, yeah. So, I like to call myself a photographer because I like to go outside and I like to take photos of things that look very aesthetically pleasing and if you've been to my Instagram you already know how much of a hipster I am when, I, when it comes to photography. And I do have a new camera which I'm filming this on and that's what I'm going to be using for most of my photography from now on but I do like to take photos on the phone, that, that's the wrong way around, I do like to take photos on the phone as well. Of course taking photos on the phone isn't as easy as taking photos on a real camera or oh, well a real like a, a, a good camera of course taking photos on the phone isn't as uh, shit of course taking photos on the phone isn't as good or easy as taking photos on a big camera but if you know how to do it right you can get some really really good photos on your phone I'm not saying this is the only way to take photographs on your phone of course not I just want to share a few tips and tricks and what might make your photos look better. So anyway, here we go! Part 1, the camera. Now a lot of phones, actually all of them, all of your phones, all the phones will come with a built-in camera. Sometimes this camera is very good and can take very high definition shots. But what if I told you there are better app camera apps that you can use. Yes, in fact, I have two of those apps and they are both pretty good. They also double up as a photo editor, but I'll get back to that soon. So the camera apps that I like to use are Warm Light and Infilter. 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 It's like Tumblr. Infilter. Infilter. So they're both pretty good camera apps. Warm Light is probably more of a professional camera app. You can adjust the ISO and the exposure when you're taking the photo and Later it will take you to a photo editing bit where you can edit your photo, you can put on different filters and you can adjust the brightness and the contrast and yeah. And then there's Infilter which is a bit more simplistic but I love it to bits. Basically how Infilter works is when you press and hold on the screen and you move your finger around it will change the filter. And this Infilter, it has very very good filters, a lot of very good filters, a few very bad filters that well, I mean, they're not bad filters, they just don't usually work that well. Yeah, they're really cool, and those are the two camera apps that I use on my phone instead of my phone's camera. Just tap my phone. Sorry, did I hurt you? Next up... Really? Really? My brother left his phone here. Hold on, let me... So next up... What are you going to take photos of? There are plenty of things to take photos of. You can take photos of houseplants. You can take photos of fucking art. You can try and take a close-up photo of your eye, but that rarely works. You can take photos of yourself. You can take photos of yourself in the mirror. And if you want to be really hipster, you can take photos of yourself with your phone in front of your face diagonally so that anyone can't see your face, but they can see your body. So, now that you have got that out of the way, there are... Three things I'd say that you need to look out for in the photo. First off, how is your subject placed in the photo? Whether your subject is in the middle or in the side or in the top corner, you need to be aware that the way your subject is placed doesn't look awkward, that nothing, if, they, it's, a, if it's a person, that nothing is going out of the head. Uh, you need to make sure that nothing weird is sticking out of the corner. Uh, you need to make sure that the photo is composed pretty well so that the corners look like corners, I guess you could say. I'm not entirely sure how to word it, I, I'm sure you can figure it out. Two, depth of field. Now when you're taking photos on your phone, that's the wrong way up again. Now when you're taking photos on your phone, or as I like to call it, photography, I'll let myself out. When you're taking photos on your phone, the pictures usually tend to come out a bit two-dimensional. Like there's no background blur, there's no depth of field feel to it. And sometimes it is a real bitch to try and focus on that one thing you want to be in the foreground. So what I like to do with this is I like to do close-ups. I like to get really close to my subject, focus on the subject, and this way so the subject is very sharp in the foreground. If anything is any, any closer in the foreground, that's very blurred. And anything in the background is also very blurred, which creates a lovely depth of field um, effect. Yeah, that's the word I was looking for. Effect. And then lighting. You need to have optimal lighting for your photos, obviously. You need to make sure that the lighting of your photos is in the right place and at the right intensity 
for what you want your photo to look like. Otherwise, it won't look like what you want it to look like and you'll cry because you weren't able to take a fucking photo. It's the simplest of things. It's really not, actually. It's a very difficult thing. Don't beat yourself up if your photos don't turn out perfect at first. So, you've taken your photo, the foreground is sharp, the background is blurred, the lighting is perfect, the subject is placed in the photo greatly. Now what? I like to edit my images and there are a few apps that I like to use, mainly Afterlight, Scroot and Font Mania. Afterlight is your basic photo editor, it can crop, it can brighten, it can darken, etc etc. And as I said, Warm Light also has a photo editor in it that can do a lot of these things. If you want to try that out, then that's good too. It's a pretty nice photo editor for little tweaks and adjustments to make it look a little bit better. And then we have Scroot. This is for if you realize you've taken the photo at the wrong angle or slightly at the, slightly at the wrong angle and you, want, and you want to fix. What Scroot allows you to do is it allows you to stretch the image so that the angle is slightly changed. And most of the time it will not distort the image at all. So it comes out looking very clean and very professional and very good. It also comes with the MRW app, the MRW, the M R R W app, which you do have to buy from by going into the app and clicking ready and clicking M R R W, and then you need to buy. But it's a very good add-on. It's a mirroring, a mirroring, a mirroring add-on, so you can just basically mirror your photos. Then I have Font Mania. This isn't exactly a photo editor, but I love it anyways. It allows you to put text, frames, artworks, separators, shapes, and all kinds of stuff on your photos. I like to use it a lot. I like to put my... I like to use it a lot. I like the artwork in it. I like to put text on my photos. I like to frame it. I like to put two layers of text and separate it with a separator. It's a very good app and it has some very good things. Why am I so awkward on camera? I tend to post all of my photos on Instagram, sometimes on Tumblr, not that much though. I don't use Tumblr for posting stuff, I just reblog a lot of shit. So I'll usually post my things on Instagram, which also has filters and a little photo editor that I usually use to just make the photo just that extra bit better and more hipstery, obviously, because I, I am a very hipster photographer. Don't judge me, it's my aesthetic. And there you go, that is how to hashtag photography. Oh god, I just made myself cringe at myself. Uh. Anyway, if you like this video, if you found it informative, somehow, go ahead and give that like button and cheek a little tickle. If you want to see more, for some reason, I have no idea why, what are you doing here? Go give that like, go give that subscribe button a cheeky little tickle, and you will see more of me struggling to find the right words when they're right in front of me, and I've known them for years. I'll see you guys later.